creakiness. Gotta love my futon. All right. So yeah, we're back on Animal Crossing for, I guess, part three of this. So I'll just share some valuable tips about Weebland living. I'd like to eat I'd like to share a little info that might just improve your quality of life here on the island. On those long Weebland nights, enjoy the lovely illumination of candles or lamps. Using different lighting sources or changing their location can dramatically alter the feel of a room. All of you fussy interior design types should try gathering various kinds of lighting to use in your designs. That's all for me, bye now. Okay. So yeah, it's been a hot minute since I hopped on here. But hey, Animal Crossing's never unwelcome. So as you can see, I've done some stuff around compared to the last time that I streamed this. Get the announcement out there. are a set and a go-go. So I've done a few things that are different. Like for instance, this was not here before. Got myself a nice money tree giving me 10k each. I learned about that. So apparently I didn't know this when I started the game, but those uh those little areas where you could dig up a thousand bells from the ground, I didn't realize you could plant 10k in there and as a result grow a money tree. I did not know you could do that. So that's different from what I, you know, am used to. And Canberra and Tank have their own houses. I don't remember if I showed that last stream, but here we are now. And one other significant change that happened is the shop is open. So I can now be able to just drop shit off in here that I want to sell for a quick buck. And I'll probably head in there in a second, but first I want to check around the fish and bug areas of the island, see if I can find anything. Oh, and I also got this uh, item wheel, which is really, really useful. Really cuts down on the amount of time I'm in menus. So yeah, this stream today is just going to be a bit of a short stream on showing where I am currently in Animal Crossing. Pick up resources, pick up fish. Donate to Blathers. You know, regular old Animal Crossing day stuff. Not really much partying that you can do here, Canberra. It's only like three people. Come on. There we go. And... Man, loaches are just everywhere on this island. Like, I don't know what the uh, predominant fish could be through each island, if it's the same or different, but loaches have been really commonplace in my island. Not that I'm complaining, though. It's the only, This is the only real fishing action I've been getting lately. In this current climate, there's no way I've been able to do a whole lot of fishing. Hopefully this might be something that could fill the museum out. Because apparently a lot of people are time traveling and manipulating weather to get specific fish, and I'm just like, my god, guys, take it slow. But 
you know, far be for me to judge on trying to manipulate a game's data to make it in your favor as a person that has done shiny hunting. So yeah, just a nice, calm time in Animal Crossing today. I might end up playing the Bravely Default demo later today. The uh, Bravely Default 2 demo, I mean. Because that recently came out from the uh, tiny Nintendo Direct that happened recently. Which, you know, if I had the foresight to know that that was coming, I probably would have done a video on it with Jordan, but sadly we did not have the foresight on that and we just decided, you know what, let's just keep with the news for later. Although I did end up getting some good news for him in the vein of the uh, Legend of... Not my Legend. The Panzer Dragoon remake uh, being out today, you know, which is all cool, but... Apparently, from what I hear, it's not that good, which is which is kind of crushing Jordan's hopes, but I gotta be honest with him, you know? I don't want him to waste his money on a game that might be bad. Alright, any other fishies out here? Hope you guys are doing well, by the way. I'm doing fine. I've just uh, been living along the best I can in amidst the craziness that's been happening lately. And as for school stuff, I mean, as you guys know, I'm in my last semester of college, and my class has kind of turned online fully, which isn't a huge deal because it's just Photoshop, but the thing is I have to get Photoshop on my PC, and if anybody know, knows Adobe, it's really damn expensive. So that's certainly something I don't want to look forward to. And I can't very well use the computer labs in the campus that's a walks away from me because all campuses are pretty much halting all in-person classes. So yeah, it's kind of a bummer, but not a huge deal. I don't know, what should I swap out for this squid? Uh, swap a clam. Yeah, besides that, um, I can probably find a way to get Photoshop to do the class assignments. Because it's not like intro to Photoshop is that hard. It's just, you know, making sure you have the app to even do the lessons. Just getting a bunch of fish that I've already gotten. That's fine. I just more or less want to show the progress that I've made in my island since my last stream. I've made some. So, this is just to kind of show you guys where I'm at. Let's see. Thought that was a wharf roach for a second. Aha, here we are. Uh, let's swap it with the... Yeah, twigs, why not? sell off the squid, coral. I like this drop box. It's a really nice feature. Is that all I want to sell? Yeah, looks good. Now, what have you got for sale? What is this? 
interested in sturdy sewing box. Nah, not interested in that. I am interested in this. Let's see. A Zen cushion. Those are a limited supply, so act fast if you're serious. And it is... Limited supply for 500 bells. Why, why would I not get it? Alright, so I got that. And got, of course, a medicine ball or exercise ball. Yeah, just a nice little relaxing Animal Crossing stream. Just kind of more or less showing the progress that I've made since the last one. The other streams I've done are archived over on Open Couch Gaming on YouTube, so if you're interested, you can check them out there. Don't really feel like having a teddy bear. I remember hearing that you get a ladder at some point, which will be nice to climb up those cliffs, but from the looks of it, I don't think I have the affordability for that. Hmm, I do like that paper parasol, though. I've seen them all, sir. Oh, cool, sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the support. All right, so paper parasol. Yeah, why not? It looks cool. Uh, any recipes that are of interest? Test my DIY skills, slingshot, flimsy water can. Yeah, nothing really new. Hmm. I could end up getting an upgrade to my house, which is probably a big step that we could go for. Actually, why not? Let's give that a shot. Because I already paid off uh, the house that I've got at the moment, so why not? Figured I'd at least get some kind of thing done. Alright, uh, about my home. For your home, I think I'd recommend getting a little room larger. That would require a loan of nearly 200,000 bells. You know, I think I can see where the tarantula farming market is starting to get into huge predominance. Not gonna lie. I think I can understand now. Still not gonna time travel, but I understand it now. This might be a good time to consider a new color for your roof. There are eight color options. Please select a roof color from this list. I mean, I like my black roof, but... Is there, like, a blue roof I could get? What other options choose with these previous colors? Oh, there is. I'll go with blue. Black's my favorite color, but blue's a close second. Okay, so that's done. Let's see, I have some fossils I can give to Blathers, but first... I'm gonna put that Zen cushion in my uh, in my house. I visited another island, and that's where I got that yellow plant that you see on the side of my house. And uh, I think I recruited some villagers from there as well, but I don't know when they arrive. All right, just to make it a nice setup, let's have the Zen cushion be in front of the switch. There we go. Okay, room's coming together. The magic circle carpet's kind of a weird outlier in the whole thing. Like seriously, it's really bizarre that this thing looks so much like a uh, fortune teller's rug amidst like a room that's kind of a mishmash of a bunch of other shit. I did also make that bed. I just uh, needed to get some soft wood to make one product and make it into a bed. So I think it turned out okay. All right, can I craft anything important at the moment? Probably, oh. Oh! So I need cardboard box, but I do not have that recipe, I th think. No, I don't think I do. Oh, I remember another thing. Uh, so, when I played this last, apparently there was another Gulliver thing. I didn't realize Gulliver could be encountered multiple times on your island, so I think I'm going to go help him out today, too, if he's still there. Garden Rock. 
Eh, why not? I could use my stones. Alright. That should be good. is where do I put said rock? Uh, about here should work. There. Oh hey, speaking of a money hole. Go ahead and bury another 10k. I hit A by accident. <laughs> well, there goes that. That's fine though. I've already got another money uh, money tree, so it should be okay. Yeah, you ever have one of those moments where your brain just kind of goes, "Okay, here's the objective. You're doing two plus two, and now what is this equal to your actions?" Chocolate bar. Shit. Also, I think Gulliver is not here. Oh dear. Okay then, he's not here. Fantastic. Oh well, might as well gather up some fish for blathers. Not any bugs, sadly, because honestly all the bugs that are on my island are the same don't really have anything for variants. That was almost as bad as pressing B again in Pokemon Center. Oh my god. Yeah, like repeated, the loop of healing in other words. Yeah, I know that exact pain. Or if you want to go super old school, the eternal owl conversation in Zelda Ocarina of Time. Alright, another sea bass, that's fine. I can just sell it. I swear there was another fish up here. Yep, here we are. Okay, what is it this time? Wow, it is just a trove of bass here. Just a big old trove. Or school, I mean. Weebland is also known as Bassland. Did I? Okay, that's not any... I don't think that's a fossil. I think that's something that I buried there a while ago. Alright, what have I got? Something new. A goldfish. Neat. Anything in the rivers? Mm, does not look like it. But yeah, I haven't really encountered any new bugs. Much to my chagrin. So, sadly, it's been mostly just fish and fossils when, that I've been donating to Blathers. And I still have yet to find another boot in order to make a recycled boot pair. Like, I, when I first started the game, I managed to get a boot out of the river, and apparently I can craft a pair of them, but I need a second one, and I haven't found one. So yeah, that's a that's a little frustrating, but nothing worth uh, nothing worth time traveling though. Although the time traveling has led to some really funny memes. One of which um, that I discovered today was steal one of the villagers. 
Maybe I could go to another island. Because apparently I don't have to be online to go to a different island. I have to be online to go to a friend's island. I did not know the difference there. So... I think I might actually visit another island today on the stream. So that maybe I can get lucky enough to find something different. Instead of a bunch of goddamn bass. 2,000 miles for a plane ticket? Okay. I will go ahead and get one then after I donate to Blathers. Because I think that's all the fossils that I could find on here. Any other items that seem to be fossils are probably just buried items that I got rid of so that I'd be able to save up a bunch of space. Yeah, I hope everybody here is doing well. I've just... I've just been distracted by a lot of other games, and apparently there's even more coming out that are going to be super huge. During that mini Nintendo Direct that I mentioned earlier, apparently a release date was given for Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. And looking at that game, I think, man, that seems like it'd be really fun to play, and apparently Xenoblade Chronicles is really good. So... I don't know. I have some level of interest in actually playing it, but we'll see down the line. And here we have a tiger beetle, which I've already gotten. I will also show you what I, I've uh, currently got in my museum. I don't have a huge collection, but you know, I've been I've been doing my best, doing my part. Alright, let's assess some fossils. I've got three. Each and every one not gotten yet. Sweet. Ah, yes, the true development of culture in Weebland. Find a fossilized Pocky. Let's go ahead and donate. Let's try the goldfish out. First. Sure, why not? Goldfish are so cute and delicate, but do you know how they get, how big they can get? Why they can grow up to a foot in length? Well, sometimes. The size of the tank that they're kept in tends to restrict their growth. Just how big will this goldfish get in our large museum tank? I'll look forward to finding out. Okay. I would have liked for him to dispel the rumor that goldfish don't have a memory of, what was it, six seconds? Because I don't remember the full facts, but apparently that's not true. Blathers the Owl, a predator of the night, is terrified of bugs and crustaceans. Yeah, that is kind of a weird contradiction on his part. Alright, I got a Spino Skull. Sure, tell me about it. Wonderful. Tis, fan Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Yes, the Spinosaurus was a very large carnivorous dinosaur roughly the size of a T-Rex. Unlike its more famous cousin, however, Spinosaurus seemed to have, a, have spent a greater time of dealing in water. A great deal of time in water. Sorry, my, my brain was reading faster than my, than my throat could possibly let out. <laughs> I, was, I was reading faster than I was speaking. Similar to modern crocodiles, this, this creature lived on a diet of fish and land-dwelling animals. Personally, I am simply reviled that it did not seek flying prey. Okay. Is that the first Spinosaurus part that I got? Hmm, I might have to check. I will show off what I have in my museum, by the way. I have not, uh... I actually haven't seen how much progress I've made in my museum, because in my personal plays on this game, I really don't care about seeing my museum that often, so... 
yeah, <laughs> it's going to be much of a sight for me as it is for you guys. All right, and this is a Dimetrodon skull. I was just, I was pausing for a second to figure out how I ought to pronounce that. Dimetrodon, not actually a dinosaur despite what some people may tell you. This reptile, not dinosaur, is most famous for large for the large sail-like organ on its back. Said organ was likely useful in regulating its non-dinosaur body temperature. Reptiles are known to be cold-blooded, but there is some debate as to whether dinosaurs were too. Dimetrodon assuredly was. Okay, so that is probably the first part that I've gotten of a Dimetrodon. Okay, and then the last one is a Diplopelvis. Art, am I in school? Yes, as I was saying earlier, I am in my last semester of college at the moment. So, I am currently seeking my education, but I'm going to be done very soon, which means I'll soon be on the job hunt, the least fun part of adulthood. Good old Diplodoct. Diplodocus, what would we do without you? This stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. Those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all, that extraordinary neck. Did you know that the center of gravity was... Did you know that its center of gra gravity was such that sitting up on its hind legs was probably easy? What's more, paired with its long neck is the... Neck, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. Best of all, Diplodocus probably grew its entire life, having no adult size. Hmm. Kind of like that uh, one 18-year-old that's like six, seven foot eight and won't stop growing. Or people with gigantism like Andre the Giant. Alright, I think that's everything that I have to donate at the moment for my island. So I guess to start off with the weak link on my uh, museum, the insect line. But yeah, I'm curr so yeah, to answer your question, chat member, I'm currently in my last semester of school. I'm just trying to survive before I have to get into the adult life of having to job seek and find apartments and a place of residence. But I'm just taking it in stride, one day at a time. Alright, got my Emperor Butterfly here. Somehow there's multiple, despite having to only donate one. I saw my wasp nest earlier. There's a snail. Let's see, anything else? Yeah, there's my wasp nest. I've got a bagworm. another emperor butterfly. It looks like the tiger beetle has found its way into a bench. Let's see, common butterfly, I think that's what that is, right? No, pill bug and moth. My tar the tarantula that I managed to play chicken in getting. Wait until, wait until you see the anchovy. Oh boy, now you got me anticipating. But yeah, um, funny story with this tarantula, I kind of played a game of chicken to try and catch it, so... I didn't realize tarantulas were that deadly in this game until I got bit by one one day, but then as I saw a second one and had my net out, 
I caught it when it did that little jump it does just before it chases you. So I kind of, I don't know, it was just like whoever reacts first uh, goes and, you know, proceeds with the action. So I, I, instead of running after it jumped, I just went and swiped at it. So yeah, that's the tarantula story. Uh, there's the hermit crab I got. That is the tiger butterfly, I think. And yeah, that's pretty much all of the insects, I believe. As I said, I don't have a lot because my island's pretty uh, limited on the amount of insect species I have. Oh, wait, no, I'm wrong. That's a regular spider. And... Yeah, I think that is everything. As I said, not the biggest insect collection, but you do what you can. In the older games, the tarantula and scorpion were placed in the small cage and fought each other. Jesus, God. Go all fucking fight club on those guys. Arachnid fight club. I'd see that movie. A fight club movie of entirely arachnids. Which would basically be just like a Spider-Man video game where you just... No, a fighting game entirely based on Spider-Man. So you have like different Spider-Man iterations fighting each other. There you go. There's the money for you, Marvel. Have Miles Morales beat up Miguel O'Hara. Or Spider-Gwen beat up... Uh, uh, oh god, what's the... Ben Riley Spider-Man. I forget. What's, what's Ben Riley Spider-Man? Uh, oh god, it's gonna bug me for the rest of the stream. Because it surprised you how many iterations of Spider-Man-like superheroes there are. Alright, so there's the goldfish I just donated. A yellow perch and a... What are these? Yellow perch and a freshwater goby. which looks a lot like a grouper, which is a saltwater fish that can range really large in, in size. I think that's the bluegill, and that's the, what is this one? Bluegill, black bass. Scarlet spider, thank you. I knew it was scarlet something, but I didn't know if it was spider or something else. But yeah, the Ben Riley one with the with the blue hoodie. That one would be really cool to have in a fighting game. I mean, shit, every single Spider-Man known to existence was referenced in Spider-Man for PS4. Oh, no. Look at how lonely this little guy is. And also, I was told that the anchovies would be in this can, this uh, not cage, this uh, tank. But apparently, I forgot to donate one. Oops. Oh, and it wouldn't be just the Spider-Man uh, characters, but maybe some of the iconic Spider villains, like uh, Venom and Carnage. That, that would be some dope shit. Let's see. The fish that I have down here consist of just the football fish. He won't be lonely for long? I hope so. I mean, maybe I could get lucky. To be up all night to get sun. To be up all night for good fun. Be up all night to get lucky. If you're a fan of Daft Punk, hopefully you recognize that song. Yeah, my freshwater and saltwater collections are pretty varied to some degree. Got a flounder, got my sea bass, uh, my knife jaw, red snapper, squid. Pretty decent size. I say so myself. Is there anything in here? No. Although I could probably use a nice sizing up on my collection, but that's what's... That's why I'm going to travel to another island. Alright, and last but most certainly not least, we will be checking out the fossil section.
I say certainly not least, but it probably is the second least amount of stuff that I have alongside the insects. Let's see. I don't know what... I forget what that one is. Probably because I did not choose to elaborate on what these were. Alright, so how is my collection so far? Oh, hello! I'm just missing the skull on this one. Uh, what's this one supposed to be? It's supposed to be Brachiosaurus. Okay. And this one is the one that I probably just donated, right? No. And I don't have anything for a T-Rex. Oh, wait, no, I do have, I have like a T-Rex tail. Okay. And this is the Daniocus, I think. Is how you pronounce that? Okay, so I'm missing the bottom half of this one, the skull on this one. This is Plesiosaurus, which is apparently supposed to be what the Loch Ness Monster is supposed to be. Archelion. Okay. So yeah, it looks like my fossil collection is a lot more sizable than I thought it was. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, there's a complete one. Now what's this completed one back here? I was not going to attempt to try and pronounce that. <laughs> like, I, I was just not... It was just one of those moments where I saw the word and then my brain was like, nope. Let's see, and over here I have the full saber-tooth tiger. Sweet. Awesome. And here we have a mega serops. Is that how you pronounce it? Serops? Because of the uh Patchy Cephalosaurus. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Alright, still missing a bunch of parts on that. Just a singular skull. Alright, how about back here? Is there anything interesting? Nope, just loops back around. Okay. Well, yeah. There you go. That's my whole museum collection. So in the tier list, when it comes to how much of a certain thing I've got, it goes fish, fossils, then bugs. So I probably need to step up on my bug game a little bit. That's hilarious that it shows the evolutionary trail with the other villagers. I mean, it probably just goes to show that the uh, designers of the game went into a lot of research into making that happen. Gotta love when... Re when uh, Designers are willing to dedicate themselves to something like that in terms of detail. Especially since it's something that not a lot of people will probably notice at first. Or maybe that's just me. Because, you know, I've described before about my ambivalence towards Animal Crossing in the past. Got another dab. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get any other interesting fish uh, quite yet. Just hope I can at least get a boot. I keep getting so many damn loaches. Sea bass, so I've got a bunch of these bugs I can just go ahead and sell. I've got around 5,000 nook miles. I can go ahead and get myself two of those tickets to bring myself out to a different island.
pocket organization guide, hairstyles. It's nothing really new. Enough miles ticket, redeem. <laughs> Weebland Airport. It's just got like a big old hentai tentacle printed on the side of the plane. All right, let's buy another ticket, and then we can go ahead off to these other islands. All right, that should be everything. First things first, let's go and check on getting out to a new island. And I know I haven't like shaken any of the trees or, you know, hit all the rocks, but honestly, considering how little I've gotten in terms of bugs and like with the general island reach, yeah. For 6,000 each, you'll eventually be able to get a cliff building permanent permit and most digging permit. Oh, moat digging permit. I was like, most digging permit? That does not... That sentence doesn't make sense. Grammar, what that? Use enough miles ticket. But yeah, you gotta love that autocorrect. I understand completely. You were trying to type that out and it just was going like... Oh, you mean moat? You mean, oh, moat? You mean most? I understand that frustration 100%. You know, you know this isn't a real airline because there isn't a whole lot of frustrated people walking around saying, refund. to plant on my island and is that a snow leopard or who are you Bianca I didn't expect to see anybody on this island nice to meet you I'm Bianca you're from Weebland I totes heard of somebody somebody Trey cool who's from there oh oh darling why do you have to talk like that maybe you know them their name is Willis that's you? Wow. A pair of celebrities on one island. Well, I'm a celeb in training, but it's still fab. I could use more villagers on my island. And it's pretty cool that I encountered a snow leopard. I think... I think... I think she's a snow leopard. Is she? Spending time on the island is the best way to find your inner calm. And hug it as hard as you can. If I lived on an island... Glimmer, I'd f I'd be the calmest, most relaxed tiger. Okay, tiger. Okay, she's just a white striped tiger. What a crazy quinky dink glimmer! We're gonna hang out all the time once I live on, once I'm living on Weebland. All right, so now she'll be coming to Weebland. Yay! Five different flavors of excited. Oh boy. Alright, so. Let's get to taking away all these island's resources.
I already have enough coconuts on my island from the last time I visited one. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is try and see what fish are here. Hopefully there is some variance compared to my island, which is just entirely sea bass. There we go, that's what I was looking to do. And it is a sea butterfly. I've already gotten sea butterflies. Ooh, hello. football fish. Fantastic. I mean, at least I've found a different fruit to plant on my island. Because I happen to really like oranges, so I have no problem with that. horse mackerel. Another emperor butterfly. And what are you? You are... a dace. Okay. Let's vault over. new over here. Here we are. Needs to be something new. Another ma frickin' mackerel. the other fish that are in here. Let's try and lure this big guy. And this is a black bass. Anything else? Gotta swap it for something. Well, I know for certain I have a black bass in the museum, so I'm just gonna throw this guy back. Is there ever a point where I can get a larger inventory space, like, on my person? Because I see people having three rows of inventory, and I wonder how they do that. Alright, and here I got a cruising carp. I don't think so, at least. It's so odd, because I've I've seen other people have larger inventories than having... Like, I've seen people have three lines of inventory, and I don't know how to get that third line. And man, would it be useful to get that third line. Another damn loach. Let it go. Uh, is there anything else? I probably didn't pick the best time of day to do a stream on this, too. With miles plus and 5,000 miles. Okay. Good to know. Well, that's certainly a goal for myself that I'm going to set. I just need to you know, have the patience to get to it. Ah, 
How many loaches? Oh, screw you. The fish just turned around the second that I had the bobber nearly in the water. I really hope it doesn't start biting while, I'm, while it's obscured by the tree. And that is another carp. Not really a whole lot new unless the weather changes. Was that a new insect? Wow, I am really not careful with that. Alright, now is this... Oh, another loach! Okay, fine, I can see her face. Alright, so she's a white tiger. Cool. Also, I think that is a new bug. A bug that I have not encountered. There we go. And that is a man face stink bug. Kind of looks like the Easter Island head. Now let's swap that with the red flower. Why not? Okay. You know what? I might as well release all these fish that I don't need. If it's not anything new, then I'm probably not going to keep it. Another... Alright, back in the ocean with you, friend. This, considering my current luck, is probably going to be either another football fish or a sea bass. Yep. Who'd have thunk? Oh my god, it's like fucking repeats. And my fishing rod's down. Alright, do I at least have anything else I can whack about on this island? Let's go ahead and whack some rocks. Centipede! And yes, I saw that pun, I'm just not going to acknowledge it. Cool, I got a centipede. Hit 
rocks. All right, cool. Okay, that's all I can get out of that one. Actually, do I have enough twigs to make myself another? Alright, that is not accomplishing anything. I probably can't craft a flimsy rod. Let's see, modeling clay, frying pan. Yeah, I didn't think so. I think I have enough oranges to plant. Right now, I'm do all I'm doing is just shaking for potential insects or uh, twigs. That's all there is to that. I think I already got wharf roaches, right? Yes, I did. only thing that's left is to maybe, I don't know, ask for another fishing rod, but considering my luck on this island, I don't think I'm going to get anything new. If you dig two holes next to each other, one space away from the rock, you can get eight things out of the rock. Oh, I didn't know that. Since I have an iron nugget on my, so, on my person, I can just go ahead and craft another one of these. See what you are, big fella. Oh, come on. Just get right in front of him. Man, I'm just making the fishing strats a terrible. Thank you. And I get... Thank you for the applauds. But it's still another damn sea bass. This one. It's probably going to be like another bass or carp or something.
Yep. Alright, I'll give fishing a couple more goes, and then I'm just gonna leave the island. Like, there's honestly nothing else I can really do here. I mean, at least I found Bianca, so that's pretty neat. attempt. You know, I might as well see what this little guy down here is and then I'll go. It's like loach and bass. Just loach and bass. All the damn time. Loach and bass. Sounds like a bluegrass band. Also, there's a big fish down there, so... Eh, screw it. Let's give it a shot. Come here, big guy. Probably another football fish. Oh, hello! Is that a sturgeon? Bet your ass I'm keeping that shit! Ah, uh, release the fucking wharf roach. Okay, well there we go. Found a sturgeon. And I know what those are because back in the day I used to be really into uh, river monsters and one of the episodes featured a uh, sturgeon. So, yeah, I know what those are. turned out to be quite profitable. Well, I mean, at least that last part was. Hot damn. All right, now, one of the first things I want to do is plant an orange tree. Where should I plant it? Here should work. One here should work. Probably only need about two or three orange trees around here. And one here should be good. And there we are. I'm 
think I only have one fossil to assess, so let's give it a shot. Yep, only one. A brachial pelvis. A brachial pelvis. Quite remarkable indeed. If only I could take it off your hands. Alas, we already have one, so I must return it to your care. Okay, that's my first dupe. Go ahead and make some donations. First, let's get the bugs out of the way. The centipede's name means 100 legs, but I tell you now, that's a lie. These ugly bugs have a few as have as few as 15 pairs of legs or as many as 171. But because of how their bodies are segmented, they never have exactly a hundred. Hmm. You know what else is true? Centipedes are carnivorous, aggressive, and venomous. And their bite is quite painful too. Okay. Didn't realize that. I didn't know centipedes were venomous. Interesting. And the man faced stink bug. Never mind the stink bug smell, what you have here is a bug with a face on its back. Simply put, the man faced stink bug has markings on its shell that resembles a human face. Once you notice this face, you cannot unnotice it. Indeed, this face might ever haunt your, f might haunt you forever. At least the face will distract you from the stink. All right, then one last donation for the sturgeon. Now, might I interest you in a few facts? Sure. The sturgeon is a large and long-lived river fish which has changed little in its last 300 million years. In the last 300 million years. One curious behavior of theirs is leaping high out of water and falling back in on their sides. The smacking sounds of their re-entry can be heard for up to half a mile away, likely more underwater. No one knows why they do it, but I like to think it's their impression of bread popping out of a toaster. In fact, I think that was the whole premise of the River Monsters episode that uh, the sturgeon was featured on. Because mysterious cases of like, oh, this monster in Alaska is knocking people off their boats and then devouring them as they fall. But as it turns out, just some really unlucky fishermen in a canoe that would get knocked over by a sturgeon and because of how cold the Alaskan waters are, their bodies would start to seize up and then they just start drowning. So, yeah, there you are. Fascinating facts. Unless those are untrue, in which case, go, feel free to call me a dumbass. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and sell some stuff, and then I will rock it off to another island. And then I'll sort of do a little wrap-up on breaking rocks and maybe getting some stuff on my current island, and then I will call it then for the stream. Yeah, that should work.
get to the Nook Miles ticket. Okay, now what has this island got? Okay, well it's got peaches like my island. Now what's this message in a bottle got? I just might have come up with a DIY recipe that'll change everything. Whoever you are, I hope you're in the mood to craft some, craft up a brainstorm. Try it out, you won't be sorry. Rooney. Raccoon figurine. Oh, cool, so I can make a really creepy shrine to Tom Nook. I jinxed myself. God damn it. <laughs> so many bass. I'm Bass Pro Shop. Seems like the layout of this island is that there's a uh, bigger island in the center of all this. Oh, hey, t two tarantula. Okay. Huh. All right, that's... Ah, and this is small enough for me to just hop it. Interesting. Well, I may maybe I might just take a risk on trying to get those tarantula. Tarantula Island? Is that what this place... Is that like a, a legitimate thing that people have gotten here? Or did I just get really lucky? Very famous. Okay. Cool. I'm on a famous spot. I had an inkling I might. Insert uh, Splatoon reference here. I don't know. I haven't found it. I, I haven't got Splatoon played before, so... I wouldn't know. Many people have come here searching for bells. Well, I certainly did not come here searching for bells, but I might have actually gotten some. I might be on a money pot island. Supposing I've got frame perfect timing. All right. Try to make sure I can get this one. There we go. A red snapper. All right, I already got a red snapper, so I'll just release that. Let's check up here for fish. And then we'll go into that center island on the tarantula part. Another sea butterfly, fantastic. Throw that back. All right. Well, with that, I think we should go ahead and attempt at these tarantulas. Just need to be very careful because they are very quick. 
I saw two, but since you called this Tarantula Island, there might be more than two. So yeah, need to be very careful. Ah, shit. I wasn't careful enough. But at least I'm not sent back to my own island. Had me worried, civilian. Thought you might have fought a barn. Fought the barn. No, bought the barn. Oh my god. Wow. Fought, bought, caught, brain. Jesus. My brain was just trying to remember what word. Alright, now then. Where are you? Oh, there's... Oh, there's three! Four! Fantastic! I might... Well, since I can probably attempt this as many times as I please, I could get, get some serious bells out of this. Keep an eye on your six? Okay, this guy's probably a veteran. balls. It probably would do well for me to actually craft a better net as well. So that, you know, it doesn't break on me while I'm trying to catch these things. Let's see. Oh, sweet. I can make it. Good thing I brought one iron nugget with me. to self, do not try to catch them behind trees. Having your vision obscured by that is probably the most obnoxious thing ever. Shit. There we go, gotcha. Okay, got one. And I guess because this is Tarantula Island, no other villagers are on here, which is probably a good idea. When you got a spider infested island, not a good idea to have a bunch of uh, civilians in here. Like that poor couple that apparently once bought a house that was really infested with snakes. I don't remember the full case of that, but look it up. It's really, really, really freaky. Apparently this uh, couple once bought a house that was on top of like a breeding ground for snakes. It was so bad that their water tasted funny and they could hear snakes inside of their walls. So, yeah, be careful about your real estate, people. Look up the facts. Ah, there's the fourth one. Sounds like fun. Oh, yeah. Probably a blast. All right, so I got two out of the four. Oh, come on. Oh, there's five of them! I just saw another one. Wow, this is going to be a pretty big bell uh, fiasco. Oh, come on! 
Boo to that tree. Boo to that tree. Hmm. Alright, hop across here. The net probably doesn't have the reach to go across the river, does it? Nope. Oh, come on! Yeah. It recaps you. slow. Really? You got alerted as soon as I hopped across. fan damn -tastic. I'll probably just catch the tarantulas then head back to my island. Gave to the distance properly from my net. No! Also, he is saying fought the barn. Oh! I've been misreading it the whole time. Oh, wait, fought the barn? That doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't bought the farm be a bit more appropriate? there. Shit! Man, this is just rough. This is a rough go. There we go. All right, that's number three. There's number four and number five. Hopefully there's not number six. Just need to wait for them to move away from that tree. Damn it! Just shy. Just shy. Jesus, there is a sixth one. My god, no wonder this is called Tarantula Island. Didn't expect to run into this on stream. My god. Okay. Need to be very careful about my approach here. Can't just swing my net willy nilly. Holy shit, they're fast! Yeah. 
I'm not having to watch my six, Wilbur. I'm having to just try and make sure my wax are perfectly timed. Didn't even have time to run then. These things are very quick. There we go, got number four. Number five and number six is right at my heels. Yep. Might as well check the Nook Miles thing before I catch number six. Oh, come on, I was just to the left. I missed him, just... Oh, and there's a seventh one. How many fucking tarantulas are there on this thing? There we go. That's number six. Holy shit! There's three more! All the tarantulas, Jesus! Where were they? Where the hell were those hiding? Holy shit! Well, if I can catch all of them, I'm certainly gonna be good on bells. Let's see, I've got... Funny enough, I actually have space for three more things. So who knows, maybe I'll just be able to get three more of these guys. Okay, that's number seven. All right. No, that's number six. I'm done. Wait. No, number eight. Wow, I don't know how to count. No, it's like the all the spider bites is making my brain just go completely 180. Okay. That is... That's eight of them. Wait, is it? One, two, three, four, six, seven... Yeah, eight. Alright, where are the others? Where are your friends? Holy shit, they're fast! So it seems like there's ten tarantulas at least on this little island. So maybe I can make space for the uh, second to last, for these last two. Because I have space for one more, but I need space for another. I could drop the rock. That'll make. That will certainly make for enough room. Okay, now to get numbers 9 and 10. If I can be lucky enough. Unless an 11th one pops up around! Oh, come 
come on! Number nine spotted me and just... spotted me too quickly. I couldn't react in time. I'm sorry, am I seeing... Jesus Christ, there's an 11th one! How many god Wait, am I seeing things or is that a 12th? No, I'm just seeing things. Okay, there were not 11 tarantulas when I first came here. There's, it, there's more spawning. That's got to be the solution. That, that has to be what that is. Alright, well, I guess I'll just try for two more. Maybe one more at least, and then I'll get off of this island. I spent enough time here as it is. Alright. That's number nine. Oh, fuck! One spot! Me! Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run! Run, 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 run! Oh, can't get caught on trees and rocks. Please leave me alone. Ah! Oh, oh, that was close. Uh, put some distance and gotcha! Hey, I did it. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna keep spawning tarantulas. I am out of here. Fuck this. I got my bells worth. Well, this turned out to be a very profitable stream. Got myself a sturgeon and a bunch of fucking tarantulas. Managed to get myself onto the uh, notorious Tarantula Island. Just by sheer luck. I didn't even realize that I would get there. Hot damn. Hot diggity damn. God, how fucking freaky would it be, would it have been if a tarantula met me just outside of the airport? That would have probably made me shit all of the bricks. Alright, let's sell. Whew, look at all them tarantulas. Eighty thousand bells. Well, with that, we're actually getting pretty close to being able to pay off the new house. Damn. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna give a few whacks at some of the rocks on my island, and then I think that'll be where I'll end the stream. And honestly, what other way could you possibly see it ending the stream? Because that was certainly eventful. Oh my... Oh, your wallet can get too full. Interesting. I didn't know that. Not like that? Oh. Then how am I supposed to do it?
have the right spaces around the rock empty and two holes together one space away. One space away. Like that. I'm probably not going to rock space hole. I'm trying to cover up this friggin' there. So rock space hole. Like that? Like this? Yes, and another to the right of that hole. Okay. That's kind of arbitrary to have holes like that to... Hmm. Have it out there like that. Kind of weird positioning, but... Eh. I ain't gonna complain. And stand between the two holes and the rock. Whoops. I did not read that in time, sorry. I think I have another rock that I can test that out on. if I have another rock or not. Hmm, guess I don't. Well, I guess with that done, at the very least we managed to have a nice success. Oh wait, there's another one. So, a spa rock space hole, then a, a hole adjacent to that hole. And stand in between hole and rock. Hmm! I'll be damned! Look at that! Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and deposit these bells, and I think that'll be a good place to end the stream, actually. And also, I didn't realize your wallet could get full, so that's certainly something new. Let's go ahead and do some depositing. being done, this turned out to be a pretty profitable stream. Hope you all enjoyed watching this. Um, the next Animal Crossing stream I do will probably be the last one I do. Not because I wouldn't be able to get more out of this game, but, you know, I promised only four streams of this game, and then I'd be back on my regular content, so that's what I'm going to plan on. But hopefully you all liked, to, liked this and saw my uh, fun little trek through Tarantula Island. Again, I did not expect at all to have run into that. That was really surprising. But the next time you see me here, I might have a new house, and I might have a whole bunch of other new stuff. So look forward to that when I have it. And if you're watching this on Open Couch, hopefully you liked what you saw here on the channel, and if you could like and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. 
and be sure to follow us on the social medias in the links below so that you can be able to see us more, you know, in gameplay and life-wise. We usually repost a lot of dank memes, so look forward to that. So yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your time, and uh, see you next time. Bye.